Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and my buddy here, Christopher Drivers, is back. Hey, guys. Well, Thanks more... for our well wishes. I'm still a bit sick, but I'm healthy enough to do the show again. Yeah, I, I'm still there, too. We're still battling this, so we're hoping it gets a little better yeah, over the week. Yeah, hopefully by Monday we'll be healthy. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, also, uh... Don't listen to uh, Rotten Tomato or any of those Star Wars. Uh... Yeah, we just saw the Star Wars movie tonight. It was actually better than all these uh, movie critics say, so just see it for yourself. Don't believe what the critics say. Yeah, if you go in there with an open mind and a... You'll it... actually enjoy it. <sighs> yep. And uh... it made sense compared to the rest of the movies, so if you base it off of the other movies, you'll be fine. Yep. Don't base it off of the book. Yeah, the book, they're not done with yet. Well, the books also uh, have this thing called endless amount of pages that could be added to it. Movies, the longer the movie, the more money you got to pay to make it. Directors don't want to spend billions of dollars to do like a five-hour movie. So, yeah, that's why they have to cut stuff out. Anyways, let's talk hockey, show. Yep, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, good news for uh, prior fans... Uh, it returned it to the lineup tonight, Victor Arvidsson. Way to go, Arvy. Um. Oh, I suppose I should probably have this right. Out of practice, I've been out of commission for two shows. <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. Uh, but we also apologize for missing, uh, what was that, Thursday's show? Hey. Neither one of us could talk, so sickness let alone... Sickness sickness, man. <laughs> But I did catch you guys up. Check out my last video, me and my buddy. And Kurt. I just want to thank uh, John Lewandowski for filling in for me last night. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. I saw him today at the movie theater. Yep, he brought us popcorn. <laughs> that was awesome. We got free popcorn. <laughs> yep. All right, now let's get back to talking hockey, or do you want to spoil Star Wars? Your call. No, no, let's let's. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know why people are trying to cut you to pieces with their lightsabers? No, because they're actually working on trying to make a real one right now. I know. I keep seeing people like coming up with these half-assed ways of making a real one. If they make a real lightsaber, I want one, just like Kylo Ren. Because I like his... Uh, never mind. We're not talking Star Wars. We're talking hockey. All right. So let's get into the hockey. All right. Shots on goal were uh, Boston 32, Nashville 29. Face-off percentage, uh, 52% for the Predators, 48 for the Bruins. Like usual, Predators 0 for 3 on the power play, Boston 1 for 4. Penalty minutes were 8 for the Predators, 6 for the Bruins. Uh, hits were 29-24 for Boston. Uh, block shots were 15-14 and giveaway, oh, 15-14 for the Bruins. Uh, giveaways were 13-10 <coughs> for the Bruins. All right, go. All right, so scoring in the first, nothing. In the second, uh, Parr Lindholm scored his second with an assist from Brett Ritchie and Curly his ninth. Wait, seriously? That dude's first name is Parr? Yeah. Okay. I wonder what country he's from. Uh, Just curiosity. That's I would crack the Scotland joke, but never mind. <laughs> That's racist. Not all people from Scotland like golf. <laughs> Oh, Roman Yossi scored his 12th with an assist from Ryan Johansson. Um, he had his 15th. And then Patrice Bergeron scored his 12th with an assist from uh, Tori Krug, his 20th. I warned you guys about both of those in yesterday's video. I hope he used my secret weapon for a preview. Yep, we're good. Um, then in the third period, Phil Forsberg <coughs> scored his 13th of the year with an assist from Ryan Johansson, his 16th, and Matthias oh. Eckholm, his 14th. <coughs> um, then uh, Roman Yossi scored his 13th unassisted. And then Patrice Bergeron scored his 13th with an assist from Pasternak, his 23rd, and Marchand, his 34th. Man, David Pasternak's on a terror this year. And then in overtime, Ryan Ellis scored with an assist from Ryan Johansson and Kyle Turris. So let's see. Johansson had one, two, three points, eh? Three assists. And a goal. 
No, 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 no goals. He just had three assists. Yeah, he had an assist hat trick. At least he was contributing. Uh, Pecorine stopped 29 of 32. Uh, who'd they have at that? Oh, Yaroslav Halak stopped 25 of 29. He still plays. Yeesh. Who's the uh, primary goalie for the Bruins? Tuka. Ah, uh, Tuka Rask. Yeah, I actually talked about Tuka Rask. Saying how he was the original hockey meme because they took out his cup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember those memes, unfortunately. But uh, he is a good goalie. Yes. Um, uh, Mark Janot and Brandon Schrader were the referees. Uh, Steve Barton and Mark Schuick were the linesmen. Peter Laviolette, head coach for Nashville. Bruce Cassidy for Boston. Any relation to Orange Cassidy? <laughs> you <ready> to do it. <laughs> the scratches for Nashville were uh, Yannick Weber and Austin Watson. <clears throat> scratches for Boston were uh, Joachim Nordstrom and John Moore. <clears throat> also, David Backus. Oh, how the mighty have fallen for David Backus. Um, coming up next for the. Uh, <laughs> Crap list, go. Uh, hey, that's your segment you take pride and joy in. Uh, Craig Smith, but I give him a pass because you're allowed to have one bad game. Because he's been playing really well. Uh, Colin Blackwell and Granlin. But ain't Blackwell getting sent back down? Most likely. All right. Which so, would be good to get Colin Blackwell back in an Admiral uniform. Just throwing it out there. Also, the Admirals, through the month of January, have the AHL points lead. No matter what happens. Dude, they have the points lead, like, all time. Like, this year has just been Milwaukee's year. All right, so... I just hope they don't burn out. Because, seriously, that would suck if we get toward the end of the year and they just, like, fizzle in the first round. That would be crap. They're having too good of a year to fail in the first round. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it really comes down to what Nashville does. If they do well and get into the playoffs, they're probably going to yank some of our team. Yeah, probably Trenton. Although Trenton don't really do that good in the NHL. He has two goals and two assists. In how many games? Four. All right, I suppose. I'll, I'll cut him a break. All right, next on the Predators <coughs> uh, the schedule, Monday evening versus the Arizona Coyotes. It is one of the last games before going into the Christmas break. It's the or holiday well, it's break. it's the last game for the Predators going into the holiday break. Actually, because of it, they are one of the last games because there's a couple day games that day. Yeah, there's also, uh, for whatever reason, Minnesota plays at like 3 or 4 in the afternoon on Monday. Yeah. I don't know why, but they do. Yeah, so and they play at 7, so it's like... Yeah, it's getting to be the holiday time of year. All right, so uh, Ari All right. I was actually going to help you out here a little bit. Arizona's got 37 games played, 20 wins, 13 losses, 4 overtime losses, 4 a total of 44 points. What are they in their last 10 games? 5-5. Five and five. Do they have any type of a streak currently going? Uh, one game long, losing. Okay. All right, well, their, their top forward line would be uh, Taylor Hall, newly acquired Taylor Hall. He has six goals, 21 assists this season. Then we have, uh, who is that, Christian Dvorak. Dvorak. He has eight goals, 14 assists. Then we have Phil Castle, former Pittsburgh Penguin. Also uh, former eight, Wisconsin Badger. Yeah, eight goals, 12 assists. Um their second forward line is uh, Clayton Keller. He has eight goals, 17 assists. Then we have uh, Carl Soderberg, uh, 10 goals, 11 assists. And then Nick Schmaltz, uh, S-C-H-M-A-L-T-Z, Schmaltz. Yep. I think I said it right. He has six goals, 21 assists. All right, as far as their defensive combos, they got Oliver Ekman. Oliver Ekman Larson, four goals, nine assists. Uh, Ilya Loshabinsky. He only has one assist. I'm assuming he just recently got called up because that's pretty crappy if you play in a bunch of games and all you got is one assist. 
He has 20. Even for even for a defensive, <coughs> you should have more assists than that. He has 25 blocks, from what I see. And 23 shots, but yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, we have Jacob Chickren. He has nine goals, six assists, and then we have Alex uh, Golgoski. Yep. Uh, three goals, seven assists. Uh, I'd say basically watch out for your Taylor Hall line because that kid's pretty damn good. I don't know why I'm calling him kid. He's been in the league for a while. Well, we're all older than him, so. And you always got to keep your eye on Carl Soderberg. That guy's been good for the past couple years. Uh, Clayton, Clayton Keller, he's okay, but he's on a bad team because Arizona's never really been that great of a franchise. So They're working I, I'd on watch it, but... out for, if I were you guys, for the Predators, I would watch out for Soderberg. I would watch out for Kessel, Hall. And that's really about it. I mean, Arizona, they're probably going to make the playoffs. They don't know. They, don't, they got Connor Garland. He has 12 goals, 5 assists, and he's playing, like, in their uh, fourth line. So it, he might creep up there, so probably keep an eye on Connor Garland as well. Uh, defensively, their defense is pretty crap. Like, their first two defensive pairings are, like, their best pairings. But uh, and their set, first pairing isn't even that solid on the right side. Yeah, Jacob uh, Chikrin, he's, like, their best defensive player. Nine goals and six assists. Although that Golgoski kid, he has 17 assists, so. Golgoski's been around since Crosby came in the league. All right, so, yeah, that's basically what you got to look forward All to. All right, so now we got to the goalies. Uh, your starting goaltender for them nine times out of ten is Darcy Kemper. Former uh, Minnesota Wild at LA Kings. He is 15-8-2 with two shutouts. Yeah, Kemper's not bad. He just got stuck on a bad LA team and a bad Minnesota team. And then uh, he has a .929 save percentage and a 2.17 goals against average. Um, and then you have Antti Ranta. He is 5-5-2 uh, five, five and two with one shutout with a Point nine one nine save percentage and a two point seven two goals against average. Yeah, personally, Minnesota should have made Kemper the starter and called up Stalock and got rid of Doobie back when they had uh, Kemper and Golfer because he was a backup to Doobie when Doobie was while well, being Doobie, not consistent. So yeah, uh, Kemper, he's a good goalie, mismanaged because he's been on some bad teams. So hopefully. Uh, He'll turn it around wise <coughs> and I'm thinking the Predators should get the victory, and I swear to God, I hope we don't got to do the show over again. We're good. I good. almost ended it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Um, this show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, you can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. You can get all your hockey gear. You can get your skate sharpened if you're a figure skater. You can get your referee gear. Uh, you can get NHL jerseys from all the teams in the Midwest. You can get your Milwaukee Admiral jerseys. You can get jersey customizations. Oh, you can also pick up uh, Predator Winter gear. They have a bunch of Predator Winter hats, which yeah. I'm going to go take a look at soon. So, yeah, uh, if you stop into their store, tell them that we sent you. They'd appreciate it. Or they'd probably be irritated because all the work that we caused for them. Why okay. do? Well, if we, as long as you spend money, don't create them a bunch of work. And they'll be happy with us. Yes. Because ultimately, if they're making money, I hope they're happy. Yeah. Because that's the whole point of it, ain't it? Yep. Um, so, uh, we got, uh, like I said, we got a much valuable two points. Those were and giving up a point to Boston is not going to hurt us because they're in the East, we're in the West. So I have no issue with us giving up a point to Eastern Conference team. Also, three teams ahead of us all lost today. Uh, Minnesota, uh, Winnipeg, and a couple of uh, one other lost. Oh, okay. That works. So hopefully we can try to climb up the ladder. So we moved from uh, uh, fourth in the wild card position to third. Yeah, at least we're climbing up there. Um, we do have two games in hand against every team in front of us. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to. I really don't want to be a president's trophy winner. No, that's useless. 
Give me the uh, Lord Stanley every day of the week. Yeah, I don't need the Ovechkin trophy. I want Lord Stanley's cup. Um, More prestige with Lord Stanley's cup. Let Ovechkin have the Ovechkin trophy. Even though he, knows, not he wins close. the President's Trophy damn near every year. Yeah, I know. They, they're back there again this year. Which means they'll be... But they're battling with Boston for it, so... Yeah, but the Capitals will probably get bounced up in the first or second round like usual, because that's what the Capitals do. Their uh, Stanley Cup run was a fluke. They got lucky. They got faced with, uh, what was that, Go, uh, gold, uh, the Golden Knights. Yeah, so yeah, the Capitals uh, Cup was a fluke. Ovechkin, great player, not a fluke. His team, crap. Yep. Okay, that's me done burying the Capitals. <laughs> um, but this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, a uh, hockey podcast covering everything Admirals, Pairs, and Floyd Everblades related. Come back on Monday to check out what we got for you with the Arizona Coyotes. Hopefully, another two points. Yeah. Um, also, a very happy late birthday to Anthony Richard. Yeah, buddy. From uh, Chris over there, who happened to not be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unfortunately. But hey, at least I'm getting his bobblehead and he's scoring <coughs> all on his birthday last night. <coughs> but we're going to let you guys go before I hack up a lung. <laughs> yeah.